All right, guys, welcome back to Homes on Wheels. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brandon, and Heath is behind the camera today. And we are actually here at the home place in Pinson, Alabama, and we're going to be filming this beautiful home that you're looking at called the Etony. Now, I could be pronouncing that wrong because I am from Alabama. <laughs> or Etone if you're French. Etone, kind of like Tarjay. Tarjay, like yeah, yeah, I'd go with that. <laughs> this house, though, is a huge house. It's a 32 by 90 foot home. And we're going to make a special request on Heath's behalf. He has done locked his keys in his car pulling around with camera gear. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get 500 thumbs ups on this video yeah. to make him feel better about getting his keys locked in his truck. Yeah. What do you think about that? Uh, I'll tell you what, or if they'll just subscribe too, that would help. Oh. Or do both. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's go with both. Make it worth our yeah, while. Yeah, make it worth our while. So as soon as you step up, the first thing you're going to notice, instead of your door being right on the exterior of the home, it does have a nice little porch that you step onto. And that is very important because you do not want to get wet and have to unlock your door. That's Just right. Like Heath locking his keys in the door. <laughs> there you go. Hey, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so and hit the bell icon. Let's go in and take a look. Beautiful home. Let's get that road noise canceled out. Shut the door. Hey, and I tell you what, something you notice, this has to have good insulation because as soon as you close that door, the road noise went away. Yeah, all gone. This home, I guess we'll start in the living room and take a look at it. It is a nice big open floor plan. Your kitchen is off to the left, but if you look over here, you have a very, very large area to sit in with your couches. You could put a sectional in here. You could do anything you wanted to furniture wise and a huge fireplace over here to the side where a TV could be mounted above it. And y'all know us, we like our spots for our TVs. But one of the things that's kind of interesting is you actually have a sitting area as soon as you walk in. Now, I'm sure you could use this as probably an office if you wanted to. You could probably do like a, you know, you could put a desk yeah, over there, do, do like a home office. Or you could have an area for your table and chairs like they have it set up right here or staged for now. But there is a dining room at the other end of the kitchen. So that's why I was thinking maybe you could do like a home office area over there. Yeah, maybe you could do something over there. Nice cool bookshelf, something like that. Yeah. I like that there's four windows over there. That's a lot of windows. Those bay windows? Yeah, those bay windows. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Don't rake me over the coals in the comments too bad. First home today that we filmed, that guess what? There's two things that I noticed right away. First one is heating and air conditioning is in the ceiling, not in the floor. Nice. Big deal for a lot of people. The second thing is that is an electric fireplace instead of real. real and it's wood. big, too. That is big. I like how it looks. Yeah. Now I'm going to try to do this special maneuver. I've struck out the last two homes. Oh, there it's it there. is. Okay, the plug is the K-board behind that picture. I've been moving pictures in these homes, not finding what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, that's kind of different. You turn right around from the fireplace. I like how the kitchen kind of juts right on out into the, yeah. the living area. That's that's kind of different than anything. That is I've different. Seen. I really like that. And it's got a nice mixture of colors in here. You looked at the tile that's kind of on the backsplash, it's got a real nice beige or brown color to it. It goes right over top of a marble, white marble colored countertop. And then on the island, you actually have a dark marble countertop. So they did a good job of mixing the colors up. They all flow very nicely and it looks really good, at least to, to me as a guy. <laughs> Y'all let us know what you think, but I think they did a good job mixing the colors together. Our ladies that watch our videos will let us know. Yeah, y'all will tell us. I have no problem. <laughs> now, if you take a look though, the cabinets in here are that white brown, kind of got a little bit of gray hue to it and they're on both sides of the kitchen. Now, the one thing about this home that really stands out for me is how big the island is and how many bars, stools that you can actually fit underneath that. They've got two under there. I think you could go with four. I bet you could go with at least four. <laughs> I mean, that's- even, even pretty big guys, this thing's long. Huge island. Got a nice double basin sink. You do have two windows on either side of your center window that do open up. Yeah. So that's nice. And tons and tons of wall plugs all the way around this. So you can plug any and every gadget that you can. Mixers, ever everything. Kitchen aid stuff. Kitchen aids. My wife loves her kitchen aid. I like our air fryer. Really? The air fryer. Oh, I love it. If you don't have one, you got to get one. And I don't know if y'all noticed, we've been throwing the price in at random times. We'll go ahead and tell y'all we're right here in front of this fridge. As mentioned, this is a Deer Valley home. It's a 32 by 90. The Etene. <laughs> See? <laughs> it's caught on. <laughs> As Heath says. And you can see the home place discounted price of $196,995. Now keep in mind, this price will change, guaranteed. It could change today, it could change tomorrow. It could go up or it could go down. More than likely, it's going to go up. 
That's the way things have been trending since COVID. So keep that in mind. That price is only good at the time of release of this video. Now, if you turn around, that's a lot of cabinet space in there, dude. It I really don't know what is. Do with that. Store a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, a lot of stuff. There you go. You got the 19-inch drawers in this home as well. Oh yeah. I don't know. I mean, realistically. And you got cabinets over there too. And I know you like this. Yeah, I do. I like that. And don't worry, the blue is just plastic covering to protect it and keep it from getting scratched. Yeah, but what I really like, Brandon, is is the the stove part separate here in that flat surface area. I really, I don't know why I like that. I just like that. Well, my wife said they're just so much easier to clean. Oh really? She, yeah, that yeah, makes sense. I mean, she's got a gas stove now. Yeah, you don't get those cracks like yeah, you, you don't do. Don't worry about stuff falling in. And yeah. Away. She said you just wipe. Done. Done. Yep. It's a really nice hood over top of that. Yep. As well. I guess we need to look in here. Kind of see them right on the bottom. Pantry. Oh man, it's a good size That's pantry. That's different, isn't it? That is sides. different. Like that. Yeah. Got smaller shelves there and smaller shelves there. I tell you though, if I had this, and guys in the comments, I'm sure y'all will agree. I would maybe bring out just a little bit more cabinet right here. You know, Brandon, maybe not as yeah. as wide, so I could stack stuff there too. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I agree 150%. Kelly likes to stock up for the COVID stuff. So. <laughs> I mean, we've got we've got a whole pantry dedicated we to cans. Then somehow we burned through it all. I don't know how yeah. It it's a really nice dining room that you have set up right here. I like the fact that the end wall is barn wood. Yeah. It, it really just kind of sets it off. Really big windows where if you've got something beautiful to look at, if you've got really nice land or something, that's exactly what I would do. I'd aim this into the house towards whatever you're looking at. That's beautiful. It's got that rounded uh, sheetrock or uh, drywall too, so you don't get those sharp corners. We're really mixing things up, guys. We're going to the master bedroom now. We're saving the guest bathroom or bedrooms and bathrooms for last. This is a good size bedroom right here. Oh, yeah. Plenty of room for your king size bed and any of the furniture that you may want to put in there. Now, forgive us, we've tried to flip the lights on as we went, so hopefully you can see. Oh, that one came on. Give you a little bit of light, and I'll go ahead and get my camera light out. Get it ready for y'all to look inside of the big closet that's in here. What do you think about the bathtub over there? Oh man, that's a huge bathtub. It's a good size, nice, nice big shower. Tile, got the big rain head shower head on top of it. It's got the removable shower head on the side and a bench in the back. Oh yeah. Step in here, man, you get like four or five people in here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not that you would want to, but I'm just saying it's, it's that big. As soon as you pass it right here to the right, you will be taking a look at the wet closet, which is very nice. And then you walk into the master bedroom closet. I guess we can look at this side over here. You got one, two, three, four, five shelves on the left. These are all wood, no wire racks in sight. I know a lot of you have got to be excited about that. We'll do a bit of a pan and let you take a look at the other side. Plenty of room to hang any and everything up. Absolutely. I guess we need to make our way towards the far end of the house though after we take a look at these beautiful vanity that they got set up with dual sinks. I'm just struggling with my flashlight today. <laughs> <laughs> I turned it on and I turned it off and I turned it back on and it looks like my pants are glowing. <laughs> At least you didn't lock your keys in your truck like I did. Well that's true. I, I mean we're struggling today. Oh you are struggle bus today. Anybody know of a good locksmith in Pinson, Alabama? <laughs> <laughs> I need one. <laughs> we needed a coat hanger off of that closet rack to get in your door. I know. <laughs> Another thing to notate is the large crown molding around the ceiling as well as a very nice finished sheetrock. That is a real sheetrock or drywall, depending on what you want to call it. I thought sheetrock was just a southernism, but apparently they use it in other areas of the country too, or the, the name. Oh, it's a nice laundry room. It is a nice laundry room. These Deer Valley laundry rooms have been huge. Got the sink in there. So they've got like a curio cabinet in there for a TV, but that's where your deep freeze would go. Absolutely, that's where your so, deep freeze would go. I mean, it's the perfect size for a chest deep freeze. There's your exterior door from the back, your two utility closets. And it, I mean, in all honesty, this is big enough that most houses would call this a kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. That's a lot of cabinets. That is a lot. 
All right, let's go on back. So we did the master bedroom. And yep. We're coming down here, and this is actually a four-bedroom home. So we'll just start over here with the bedroom that's to the right. And these bedrooms are not small bedrooms. No. They're good size. Oh, and it's got a... Jack and Jill. Yeah, Jack and Jill bathroom. Or dorm style. I've heard them called dorm style, too. Let's take a look in there. No wire racks. No wire racks, yeah. And we can go ahead and make our way through. I'll let you go through I think I think the lights are actually off in here. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick scan through. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then it does have that deer, the like all the other deer valleys we've seen, that bigger um, bathtub in the in the guest. And it does have that, that two, two sinks in there, which is yeah. nice. So yeah. if you do have... I mean, it is a shared bathroom, so I guess if you had kids, yeah. they could each have their own sink. Yeah, nice. exactly. It's a good size bedroom right here, too, with another nice walk-in closet. That's a pretty big closet in there. It is. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's good size closet. And then we got one more bedroom to take a look at. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it is four yeah, bedroom. another bathroom. Oh, and another bathroom, too? Yeah. Now, let me Lights go, are off. Yeah, I'm going to let you go in there. I'll get some lighting ready right for you in here. We're going to check out this bedroom real quick, and then we're going to come back to the bathroom while Brandon gets some lights on there. This I can see this being an office. Yeah, this would be a perfect office right here, and it's got another big uh, walk-in closet in here too, Brandon. So every room has a walk-in. Yeah. That's really nice. Nice. All right, so we want to get in here and shine some light. Do the best we can. We know the light. And this is a big guest bathroom. It is very big. Actually, this is actually very handicap accessible, it looks like. If you have enough room, you can get a wheelchair in here and turn it around in front of the toilet or the shower. You know, we've had some people ask about that, too, so yeah. that's All good. Right. I mean, it's a really good good way to look at it. A lot of cabinet space on the other side, too. Yeah. So, overall, I'm very impressed. I am, too, and not a bad price. So, guys, we're getting ready to go to our next home tour, and it's going to be a really nice one, I promise you. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Click that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. That way you get notified every time we release a new video. And click in the upper right-hand corner. We're going to have another uh, video, another home tour. Let's go take a look at it.